Hello, my name is Paul. This is my assistant TJ, and yes, we are both professional engineers. Houston, we're ready for liftoff. The purpose of this presentation is to expand an earlier tutorial for the general public and engineers about cats. These days, cats remain as popular as ever. They have nearly taken over the interwebs and are amongst the most distracting forces of productivity the world has ever seen. Many of our viewers have expressed the joy of bringing a cat into their life, and TJ has joined the cause by adopting a cat named Sweet William I. Like my own cat, Sweet William I was a stray, so we don't know if his unique optical anatomy was caused by a rough and rowdy former occupation, or perhaps he was just running with scissors. He does not display an aversion to scissors, so we just don't know. Just like engineers, cats evolve and grow over time, especially Ginger. A survey of Ginger's dimensions since 2008 reveals a phenomenon known as aspect ratio drift. These fluctuations in her aspect ratio are due to improvements in food, but they also happen to closely follow the ups and downs of the U.S. economy. Ginger is therefore considered a leading economic indicator, and she is often studied by Swiss economists from all over the world. Here, a Swiss economist and TJ explore different techniques for stimulating Ginger's economy with butt scratches. Scratch that economy. Scratch it good. While Oscar is still the same size, he continues to grow within the realm of feline art, which now includes watercolor. This not only satisfies his creative urges, but also helps keep him hydrated. Oscar has also developed an interest in science fiction and is particularly excited about the topic of time travel, which he attempts via high-speed accelerations in my living room usually after a trip to the litter box. His postmodern cardboard deconstruction art remains vibrant as ever, and Oscar has even inspired other artists from around the world. Here we see a country artist expressing his creativity through fence postmodern deconstruction, and this young fellow brings a new level of destructive energy to his work on a stuffed toy cow. Good artistic destroyer, Winston. Finally, TJ's very own sweet William I displays an appreciation for Picasso with themes of asymmetry displayed in his own cardboard deconstruction work. Zoe continues her tradition of gravity-based activities, which includes standing, sitting, and sleeping. She is quite the intellect, and here we see her involved in sort of a mental osmosis by applying a substantial gravitational force to her favorite reading material. Gravity maketh a full cat, Zoe. She also uses gravity for something called the I'm standing on your crotch game. The combination of her large mass and small footprint area develops a very high crotch pressure of 11.2 pounds per square inch. Indeed, for every gravitational Zoe action, there is an equal and opposite TJ painful crotch reaction. We have seen that gravity is generally good, but gravity can also be a cruel mistress. TJ and I have discovered a gravity-related cat affliction known as costume-induced sideways cat instability syndrome, or Kiss Kiss. Kiss Kiss afflicts one in three cats and is characterized by a gravity-induced rolling maneuver of the cat while wearing a costume. Fortunately, evolution has developed cats in the southern hemisphere that roll in the opposite direction of cats in the northern hemisphere, so that all cat-induced forces on the planet cancel out and the earth continues to spin on its proper axis. Removal of the costume often restores cat stability, except in the southern hemisphere. While cats and humans are both interested in art, science, and crotches, it is our differences that make us unique. For example, cats are attracted to lasers, cardboard boxes, food, and spiders which can double as food. But engineers are attracted to model helicopters and blimps with cool synchronous vision goggles. The goggles allow us to view the perspective of the models, but even this improved coolness does not impress the cats and they are still totally bored. TJ and I have discovered that the same boredom effect is often true of ladies. Here, our subject seems to be fascinated with old-fashioned bird technology, yet she displays a complete lack of appreciation for the cool blimp and helicopter in her midst. She attempts to look around for more bird technologies, but she is just stalling for time and planning her escape route. The vision goggles make it easy to study her facial expressions, and she demonstrates a clear reaction of repugnance. Girl behavior is less understandable and is an eternal mystery. Of 
course, once again, we must address the difficult topic of cat discipline. As always, we advocate mild annoyance in the form of corporal cuddling and affection to discourage unwanted behavior. This is particularly effective while the cat is napping as a form of sleep deprivation. A related annoying technique known as cat yodeling now benefits from auto-tune technology. While cats are good sports when it comes to annoyance, it is true that what goes around comes around and cats will sometimes employ their own form of annoyance onto their engineer companion. A cat version of sleep deprivation takes advantage of their nocturnal skills. And here we see a psychological technique as Sweet William gives TJ the eye. TJ has excellent I'm not paying any attention to you skills, but he is also able to pay attention. He tries to withstand the monocular stare, but it's more than he can take. Sweet William wins again. Finally, we would like to present our latest efforts in researching cat energy production techniques. Our previous work concentrated on cat static electricity and cat flatulence as sources of renewable energy. Despite extensive research and development, both of these technologies have failed to yield appreciable results. However, by combining them, TJ and I have... We hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and with an updated understanding of cats, you can see how their friendship and love will forever be a benefit to humans. Indeed, the universe is a vast and lonely place, and we're lucky to have cats as our companions while we travel through space and time. Live long and prosper, Space Kitty. Live long and prosper.